Hey everyone, Big Tech here with a quick video. Uh, today we're going to talk a little bit more on this Inatech USB 3.0 hub and Ethernet adapter uh, that I purchased from my Google uh, Nexus player. And uh, right now it got me out of a jam because I needed to image this tablet which only has one USB uh, port and it has no physical port for an Ethernet cable. It only has SD card power and one USB port. So I needed to get Windows 10 on here because it had Windows 8 and it, quite frankly 8.1 it sucked. So um, it's kind of difficult unless you have the docking station, which I don't, and the keyboard that has the extra USB ports, which I also don't have. I have this uh, flexible keyboard, which is kind of flimsy. Anyway, so I remembered that I had the Inatech um, uh, USB 3.0 hub, which has, you know, again, the Ethernet uh, connection. And I was wondering, because sometimes these things won't work unless it's powered. But as you can see right now, I am applying the... OS um, imaging the machine via a PE, uh, PE thumb drive and it's working flawlessly so I guess the uh, OS itself has the drivers to recognize the built-in Realtek Ethernet card and in that manner I am able to image this so for those of you wondering can I use this I'm guessing those drivers are generic enough that you can download or you know if you're using it via SECM which I am right now um, you can also use this to physically connect your tablet get faster speeds through Ethernet which is working flawlessly for me right now so I'm able to get this image the way I want and um, right now I'm not stuck to an old OS there's a, there are other ways to do this. Um, I can probably use a CD-ROM, but in this for this I need to image off the SECM uh, image task sequence that we have. So without going to technical details, the focus is on this device right here. This is just a quick update how this not only works on my Nexus player, but it's also allowing me to image this Dell Venue 11 with. Um, the latest Windows 10 operating system. So there you have it guys. Um, it's always good to experiment. If you have one of these and you need to get a device uh, that doesn't have Ethernet, this is it. And if you need extra USB ports, this is it. It's portable, it's compact, and it works. And right now it's getting out of a jam. So thanks for watching and I'll be posting on more videos as I uh, go along Take care, guys.